Hello world, again this is Fernando Jackson, aka Farmer Fredo, Executive Director for Flint River Fresh. And again, I wanna welcome you to the Fifth Avenue Community Garden. And so today, um, we're all about teaching you to be comfortable growing food in your backyard, your community spaces, or even on your patio. But today, what I wanna show you is a, a technique um, that we call using drip irrigation. So today, I'm just gonna talk about drip irrigation, why I use it in my garden space, the benefits of using it, and then also just show you how simple it is for you to put together a drip irrigation system at your home. So drip. So basically what drip irrigation does, it helps conserve water. Um, it puts water directly at the roots of the plant, uh, which in a way helps with weed control because you're not watering the entire bed. You're only putting water exactly where the plants and stuff are at and it really helps make sure they get what they need. Because again, in Southwest Georgia, we have these 90 degree, 100 degree days, and in water evaporation and things like that can happen, but with drip, it puts the water right where the plants need it most. And it's a pretty simple technique for you to do. So number one, you have to have a water source. It could be a well, or it could be a faucet that you connect the hose to, and you bring it to your drip line. The second piece of the drip piece is what we call a regulator, pressure regulator combo piece. So one part of it filters the water, makes sure there's no debris in it, and the second part helps reduce the pressure because we're using what we call drip tape. Drip tape is a flat line of tape with water on it, and every 12 inches it has an emitter that puts water out. And so we utilize that for spacing our plants, again, water at the roots, but it's just a simple technique that you can use to conserve water. So I encourage anyone that's doing any outdoor gardening, in the ground gardening, or raised bed gardening, to try to utilize drip irrigation um, for your way of watering your plants. And the other thing about drip is that you can also inject a, a fuel injector, a fertilizer injector, so you can put your, your fish fertilizer or your 20, 20, 20, whatever you use, again, to fertilize your plants directly at the roots. So again, this is just drip irrigation, another way of conserving your natural resources, helping with controlling your weed pressure and your garden space, but also making sure your plants get what it needs in order to grow, which is some H2O. So again, this is Farmer Fredo. Growing food is what I'm about. Peace out.